Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today, today is the day I'm so excited. We are putting in our DIY fireplace. Okay, so right now what we're doing is we're pulling everything out. So the fireplace is gonna go here. This piece is gonna go in the front window. We've gotta take all that, get it out of there, move the love seat, all this, roll up the rug, and then we'll get to building the fireplace. Okay guys, so just disclaimer, this video is not a how to build or watch to find out how to do exactly. Um, this is just kind of showing you guys what we did. Um, so there's no step by step. I'm not even giving dimensions because it's really up to your preference. The sky's the limit really honestly. Like you use the dimensions of the fireplace really is where you start the fireplace that you buy and then you go off of that. So I mean just for instance like our fireplace is 55 inches wide. The actual fireplace that we'll build out is 55 and a half inches wide. Uh, our fireplace is like 35 and some inches wide and it is like 27 and some inches high. So all depends on what size fireplace you get is how you can build yours. And then I wanted at least 10 inches each side of the fireplace insert be to like hang over for my mantle so the mantle is almost the width of the fireplace I want it obviously just shy because we put up um, trim and stuff around it but it's completely up to what you guys want what side Okay guys, now it is time to get into this fireplace. I was so excited to get this. Right off the bat, you guys, it is extremely nice. Like, you can always tell by a product by its packaging. Like, if it's packaged nice, the product usually is nice because they take extra care and they care about their product, shipping, when you get it, all that kind of stuff. So, everything is nice and neatly packaged in there. Um, everything's like taped down real nice. So you're gonna get your remote control, which just FYI guys, the remote control does not come with the battery. So when, if you order this, make sure you go and you get your battery ahead of time. Um, we were able, we had a battery, so we were set on that. I would have been completely bummed because I would have been have to run to the store to get a battery. But um, you see everything's in there like nice and tight. We did have like a part of our box that was damaged, but nothing was touched at all inside whatsoever. So you'll see as I'm opening this up, there's tons of wrapping, there's tons of styrofoam to make sure that your fireplace comes undamaged. Um, so it was, you know, I was really impressed. Um, this is now weeks later from us doing this project and we love our fireplace and I, I, I highly recommend you guys. If you like the look of it, of course, there's other different kind of fireplaces that are more modern. I wanted more of the traditional looking fireplace. Um, and I feel like this was like spot on, but you can even see the inside, cause those right there are hanging, those are chain, the like chain fencing here on the side you can see. Those are all individually wrapped and held into place. And like, it was just so, so impressive, you guys. So every place we were gonna either hang the mantle or the TV, we made sure that we that area was extra supported. So here, Mike, 
um, is attaching the front part of the frame to the back of the wall by putting two by fours in between to create like a nice beam effect type that's gonna hold up that weight. And on the bottom here, you guys, you could see the two by fours that are on the bottom. Those are to support the fireplace because the fireplace is designed to sit flat. So you need something flat for them, for it to sit on and it will just sit there. You don't have, it's not made to like fasten, secure in. Um, it's just made to sit there. So you gotta make sure you have a flat. Like I was saying before, this is the base that the fireplace rests on. So you need to make sure that those are completely level and flat so that the fireplace will set nicely on it. And we added these sides so that the fireplace will, when you push it back, it will rest right there. Plus I needed something to nail in the shiplap. And I tell you, so we put these right here. Those are the middle supports because above the beam we are gonna have our TV, which we plan on upgrading. Right now we have a 42 inch TV. We're planning to upgrade up to a 50 inch TV. So we needed extra uh, support that we could mount the brace to, to hang the TV on the wall. And we made sure that we covered the 42 inch side plus the 50 for the future. And this is what it looks like you guys before we go ahead and put the All right, guys, up so on it. It is the time finally that we are finishing this fireplace so we started it last weekend and once we started getting to the framing of everything we decided you know what let's wait for our fireplace to show up so we i pulled up all the um the manual for the fireplace went by the model that we got got the dimensions so that's how we like mapped it out on the wall so far you guys it's been spot on so i will let you guys know at the end of the video what worked what didn't work all that kind of stuff but so far the measurements that they give in the manual that you can print so the fireplace came from uh walmart so the fireplace came from amazon and i will link all that below it's the pure flame and um you you can download the pdf manual and it gives you all the different makes and models and all the different sizes and depths and all that kind of stuff and we picked the one we found the one for our model and so far it's been spot on so we've kind of tweaked our design a little bit I'm gonna jump back off here because Mike is gonna be coming in here in a minute and um, yeah so I'm super excited about this <laughs> Raise your hand if you love power tools. I love power tools. I grew up using power tools. My dad was big on everybody knows how to use tools and can, you know, build and make for their life. That was something that we grew up on as kids learning. So power tools are fun for me. <laughs> and so I cut the shiplap. I cut, I cut most of it. And then um, Mike, when it came to like the real intricate cuts, like I had him cut that because I'm like, no, you go ahead and do that. <laughs> when you had to do like, you know, 45 degree angle cuts, all that kind of stuff, I can do the straight cut and we're good. So we're just going through and getting everything pre cut. Um, everything is level squared. So all the measures, pretty much it's all the same until we get to the around the fireplace where that's where Mike's gonna come in and he can do all those cuts. But the sides were 10 inches, the front was 50, I think 56, because once you add the shiplap, the width of the shiplap, um, you know, we had to cut for that. So I had fun cutting all of that. But I did not video us putting up the shiplap because as you can see, Mike comes and goes is because he's actually nailing the shiplap in as I'm cutting it. So that way we're working as a team and getting it done. Like I said, we started this the weekend prior and we just wanted to get it done um, so we could move on and get like the entertainment center out of the room because that went in the front room and I'll have a whole new video for you guys on that. 
um, how that room looks because that room is different now and yeah so next time you see you'll see the chef left up and then we'll go from there all right guys good morning and this is how far we got with the fireplace and I'm loving it and we've had the um let me put my coffee down we put the insert in last night before we um went to bed we can't put it in yet because see the cord we still have to like drill holes and all that kind of stuff to bring the cord out plus my has to drill holes for like the tv and stuff and we thought it's fine we'll just leave it out but i had to plug it in because i've been enjoying waking up in the morning when it's still dark out having this thing lit even having the sound going you guys i absolutely love it um but yeah so the measurements that was in the paper guys was exact was exact now we did do just a little bit bigger because we kind of did like the middle of the road measurement so we went just a titch bigger you know just a tad bigger um opening which you know it's totally preferential you don't have to um but it cleared i'll show you guys here on the back of the fireplace there's handles you can opt to take these out we're gonna leave it so anytime that mike we need to pull this out to do something with the tv or whatever um it's gonna be much much easier to handle that because it's it's like 40 some pounds it's pretty hefty it's not that it's heavy that's awkward too because it is wide like so for somebody like me it's a little more awkward than for someone like my husband where it's not as awkward but you know that's up to y'all but yeah so that's it you guys so we still have the trim pieces to put on the sides the top and then the bottom so yesterday we went to home depot and got the bottom trim the sides and then i'm trying to figure out what i want to do with going across the top and then the back no, I've seen in a lot of like pictures and stuff that they've got just straight, no beveled, nothing type of trim, which I did almost buy some, but I'm like, let me think about this. Uh, cause we thought maybe we could caulk, but after looking at it, it's just way too wide on this side, the crack to caulk. So I will have to cover it. I just don't know what I want to cover it yet. Um, and a lot of people put like, bigger pieces like you know thicker not thicker but wider pieces of trim up there and I don't have trim anywhere else in my home other than the floor so I think I'm going to do something minimal up there because I don't have trim and I don't plan on putting like crown molding or anything like that because that's just not my style but yeah guys so that is it so the mantle is going to go here and it's a six by six by six by six mantle. We'll be working that, but this is what it looks like so far, you guys, and I am so excited. It's so amazing. It makes this room look so much different. And I threw my love seat there, and everyone that came over was like, I love it here. Of course, it's not angled exactly how I would have it, because we literally just kind of like pushed everything over there um, last night so we could watch a quick like family movie together before we went to bed. Because today is Monday, so that means we've got school and everything going, so couldn't stay up late. But, like, if it's there and angled more, it looks really, really nice. And I think once we get the TV and everything in, and then the entertainment center, this is my old entertainment center. We had the TV above it. For many years, the TV just sat on this. This is actually going to go in my front room. So, I will be redoing that front room. And then the lights that are up there, I'm going to have to, like, readjust them because... They're not going to be centered with the fireplace. You can see this one's a little closer. That one's further out. So we're just going to have to just adjust that. If I'm even going to keep them there at all, I'm not sure yet. We'll see once we get the TV up. Because I was thinking about doing maybe some shelves or something. But I don't know because the tree's either going to go here or here this year. And, you know, I don't want to have to mess with, like, shelving and stuff behind it. But, yeah, so that is where we're at so far, you guys. And that is the fireplace on the one setting. It is super nice. And Storm, my stormy cat, my gray and white cat, you guys, he loves this thing. He, this morning, Mike had it, like, moved over here. Um, 
because we couldn't plug it in. So I'm like, we'll just put it over here so it's out of the way. Well, this morning, he, Storm, Storm, say hi, Storm, say hi. He was sitting right here staring at it, not plugged in, looking back at my husband, looking back at the fireplace like it's not working. So I had Mike move it over here, plug it in, and there he sits in his house staring at the fire. So, yeah. So I think it's going to be great. I will link this fireplace below, you guys. It's a pure flame. I do believe it's the Claws, the Claws um, series. But, yeah. So I will link this below for you guys on Amazon. And, yeah, so I'll show you the next one when we get it finished. Do I have enough in me? Almost done, guys. Almost done. Now it's time to fill in all the million holes. <laughs> That is all over this thing because of the nail gun. Um, just let you guys know, we our nail gun was the Ryobi, I think it's the 18 volt um, finishing nailer. And it also throws staples too, but um, Mike got me that nailer a long time ago when I first opened up my little shop. I had like a little antique shop that I sold the antiques vintage and I redid furniture and like kind of made my own stuff as well. And um, he got me that gun. I absolutely love that gun. We use it for so much stuff. Um, but here, now that's all done. Now here comes the beam. So we end up making our own beam. And there's like two by fours that are coming out that supports the beam. And um, I mean, the beam's really not, it's not super heavy. Um, but I do want to put things on there, especially, you know, during like the Christmas season and for decorating stuff. So I don't have to worry about any kind of weight issues originally we were going to use like an old antique beam but then i decided against it because it was just kind of i mean it's a beautiful beam and it's going to look amazing in one of my family members homes but um it just we don't really have anything that rustic-y in my house so i wanted to go with something more of like a more modern more like a smooth look so that's why we ended up making the beam and it was super easy. We just used one by sixes and nailed them all together and wood glued it. And um, you know, it should last for a long time. Actually, Mike ended up using um, special wood screws to screw everything in. And um, you don't see the screws, only basically at the top so where you use the screws because you're going to slide it in. You're going to screw it from up top and it's secured. And I've actually pulled it off a couple times. And added more stain to it because when I first stained it here it was just way too light I wanted it to match the rest of the wood in my house so about three coats later I got it right so and that's the one that you'll see here in just a second and there we have it there's the beam and I hope you guys like this video. Like I said, it's definitely not a step-by-step -step how to do it, um, but you can basically see how we did it. It was pretty simple, guys. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video because I randomly post them. And I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll see you next one. Bye, guys.